Hello, I'm Martin Broom from Gloucester County Council's Trading Standards Service. Welcome to day three of Christmas advice from Trading Standards. Today we're going to be looking at fake goods and how to avoid them. At this time of the year we see a lot of fake branded items appearing for sale. These cover all types of product ranges. As you can see here we've got some fake trainers, another pair of fake trainers, we've got some fake sunglasses over here, DVDs, and videos and music of course are always uh, easily copied and faked and these are some examples that we've seized. Clothing continues to be one of the items that you will find in ready supply. Worrying, worryingly, perhaps things like electric goods, these fake hair straighteners. Um, so they do cover a wide range of products. Now fake goods are supplied to the public through a variety of means. You will find them at car boot sales, you will find them at ordinary markets, you will find them online. Um, one day sales are also a popular venue for, for counterfeits. Increasingly we find that sellers operate through word of mouth, they work in the local community, their workplace contacts uh, are often used to sell fake goods. Such sales are still illegal, the seller can face prosecution and the consumer of course you can lose your money and find you've got very very poor quality goods. Now when buying DVDs and videos you need to be mindful that some of the stuff you're going to buy, you can't guarantee you're going to get the whole film. You can't even guarantee you will get the film you think you're buying. We have seen some instances where children's cartoons have actually contained offensive and indecent material aimed at adults. So it's really, you're taking a big risk by buying fake DVDs. Now it can be hard enough when faced with a product you can examine in your own hands to tell whether or not it's a genuine or fake item. When you're buying online, of course, this risk is even more exaggerated. So you need to be thinking about the kind of place that's selling it, the kind of marketplace that's, that's offering the product for sale. If it's a website, do they look like they should be a genuine supplier of branded items? And if not, then you probably think best off going to somebody you can trust who is reliable, who is reputable, and who you know to be a responsible and proper business selling that kind of branded item. So we've seen that there is an array of goods, and anything that's got a brand is usually going to be sold and copied by somebody illegally. The best way to protect yourself is, of course, to go to a business you know and trust, and who is reputable, and is likely to be, have the authority to sell these, these branded products. Think about where you're buying them from. If you're buying them from somebody in a, of, a, of a suitcase on the high street or a car boot sale, you want to ask yourself, are these likely to be genuine? I think the best answer is probably not. Shop around, compare prices, know what you're buying, but, but if it feels too good to be true, then it probably is. Log on tomorrow for day four of our Christmas advice from Trading Standards.